Hi guys! Now we need to give Mipper some functions by writing and uploading code to the Arduino. You can download this code from Elite.uk. In this video I will show you what functions we need to use the motor driver, and to control Mipper over Bluetooth. First we will create some variables, and tell the Arduino which pins are connected to which input on the motor driver. Then we will program some functions to utilize the motor driver and motors. Lastly we will write a function that will listen for Bluetooth commands and execute them giving us remote control of Mipper. These are the pin allocations for the motor driver. The first two are the enable pins of the motor driver and these control the motor's speed. One for the left motor and the other for the right motor. The next four pin allocations are for the inputs to the motor driver. The first two will be for the left hand motor and the last two for the right hand motor. These will control the direction of the motors, we will look at these later. These two variables are what we're going to use when we control Mipper over Bluetooth. In future versions you will be able to control the speed over Bluetooth but for now the speed will be fixed to make the code easier to understand. This will set up the serial connection so we can talk to Mipper over Bluetooth. Because I have changed the UART variable on my HCO5 I will use a baud rate of 57600. If you haven't changed this variable on your HCO5 use the default baud rate of 9600. This is our loop function, this function will loop continuously, and it's where we put the main code. I've put an if statement in here where we will listen for Bluetooth commands every loop iteration. And if we receive a Bluetooth command we will call the execute bt command function, I will add this later. These are the motor functions. We have 6 functions, forwards, backwards, left, right, halt and soft stop. These functions will change the direction of the motors through the inputs on the motor driver. We can give these functions arguments to set the speed of each motor. This will become useful for when we are making the sensor boards. The soft stop function will bring Mipper to a rolling stop rather than stopping the motors. I use digital right to change the motor's direction and analog right to set the motor's speed. The motor's speed can be a value from 0 to 255 with 0 being the slowest and 255 being the fastest. Because this is a 8-bit value we must use an analog pin in the analog right function to set the value. The direction setting is a digital value and this can be either high or low and for this we generally use digital pins. Analog pins A0 to A5 can be used for digital outputs, however A6 and A7 cannot. This function will return a char variable when it receives a Bluetooth command. A char variable is a single character such as a letter or number. These are the commands that will be sent via Bluetooth to Mipper to tell it to do something. Here we are looking to see if something is on the serial buffer. If it is we will read it and return it to the function that called this function. This function will be called from the main loop. When a char variable is returned, the main loop will then execute that command using the below function execute bt command. Execute bt command is a collection of if statements and it will call different motor functions depending on the character received by the listen for bt commands function. If you want to change the commands this is where you need to do it. So for instance if you wanted the letter O to make the robot move forward it would be changed here. So that's the base code to make Mipper move. Go over to lead.uk for the tutorial and a link to an Android application that can be installed on your phone to command the robot. See you in the next video where we will make a USB rechargeable battery board that will also provide odometry data to the robot.